Hello and Happy New Year, Providence hockey fans. I'm Nick Rojas. Friars had a strong start to the second half of the season, winning a pair of games up in Burlington, Vermont to secure the Catamount Cup before returning right here to Providence, Rhode Island for a weekend series sweep against the Colorado College Tigers. Friars have now won five straight games and are winners of nine of their last ten as they head into this weekend's Mayor's Cup against the Brown University Bears. This week we caught up with head coach Nate Lehman and Noel Achari to talk about what it's like to play in this rivalry. Let's start the show. Hi, I'm Noel Achari and you're watching This Week in Friars Hockey. Up in Burlington, Vermont, the Friars took on the UMass Minutemen for Game 1 of the Catamount Cup. The Friars brought a bounce attack to the Gutterson Fieldhouse, with four different skaters for the Friars scoring in Game 1, including Trevor Mangoya, who continues to have the hot hand with 14 points over an 11-game stretch. The Friars scored first and never looked back. 4-1 to one was the final. The next night, the Friars played host number 9 Vermont with the Catamount Cup on the line. John Gillies had yet another shutout in this one with 29 saves on the evening. The Friars' power play got things going for Providence in the middle of the second as Shane Luke continued his dominant weekend with the goal on a nice feed across the crease from Noel Achari. It was Luke's sixth goal of the season. Next, it was Nick Saracino beating his defender on the breakout and going glove side to give the Friars a 2-0 lead. For Saracino, it was goal number five on the season. Achari put the Friars up three a minute into the third as he snapped the rebound past Catamount goaltender Mike Santaguida. Achari got knocked down to the ice, but he was happy with the results as the Friars blanked Vermont and won the Catamount Cup as Shane Luke was named MVP of the weekend tournament. With the win, John Gillies is now in third place in Friar hockey history for career wins. The Friars returned home for a pair of exciting games against the Colorado College Tigers, who put up a strong fight. This seesaw battle was 2-1 in favor of the Tigers heading into the third, but both offenses erupted in the final period. The Friars got things going with a Nola Chari goal off the rebound to tie things up for Providence at two. After surrendering the lead, the Friars got right back into it after a Brian Pinot pass is deflected to Achari, who got a clean look and deep down Tiger goalie Tyler Marble to tie the game up yet again. The Friars then took the lead on a Brandon Tenev goal that somehow snuck five hole past Marble that finally put the Friars over the top. The game was not over, and after an Ian Young goal for the Tigers, the two teams went into overtime. That's when Mark Jankowski, the junior forward, made the most of his second chance and lifted the puck over Marble for the game-winning goal. The Friars win in dramatic fashion as his teammates rush onto the ice as the Friars come out on top after a wild night at Schneider. 5-4 was the final. The next night, the Friars and Tigers went at it again, with goals coming in bunches for both teams for the second night in a row. The Tigers got on the board first, but Tom Parisi answered right back, with the wrister from just inside the faceoff circle to tie things up in the first. The Friars headed into the first intermission up a goal when Nick Saracino found Trevor Mangoya crashing the net for the power play goal. For Mangoya, it was his 11th of the season. The game would be tied going into the third period, but not for long. As 23 seconds into the final frame, Parisi scored yet again for his career high second goal of the game. After the Tigers tied up the game, the Friars grabbed hold of the lead and never looked back as John Gilmore's one-timer from Kyle McKenzie blasted by Tigers goaltender Chase Perry for the goal as Providence went up 4-3. Brandon Tenev added an empty netter as the Friars sealed their fifth straight win. 5-3 was the final. And we're joined, as we are every week, with head coach Nate Lehman. Coach, how are you? Good. All right, so a lot of teams are a little bit worry, worried about rust around the holidays. You guys come out, pick things up right where you left off in the Catamount Cup. How do you feel your team did preparing for around the holidays and how do you feel they played on the ice? Well, um, you know, the Colgate game was good, and then we went, into, uh, we went into exams. We actually practiced for a couple of days after the Colgate, went into exams, and um, – the guys stayed for two days after exams and practiced, and um, you know I thought it was a good commitment by the guys to to do that, um, just so we could stay in shape, you know maybe stay a little bit sharp, um, and it shortened our break. So you know we had a six day break there. The guys came back and had two good practices and played, and and we played pretty well up there. I thought uh, 
the the game for the championship was one of our better games this year. The nice thing for us is is it was almost all specialty teams. The game it was almost all power play penalty kill, and uh, we hadn't been in a game like that this year, and we were able to win it. You know, our power play is much improved right now, and our penalty kill uh, came up with a big third period, um, and we won. Okay, and you guys got your first weekend series sweep this past weekend against Colorado College. What did you see out of your team that you liked against the Tigers? Oh, I liked our third periods. I mean, both times uh, the game basically came down to the third period and we responded. Uh, you know, f uh, Saturday night we were down going in the third period and we were able to score three goals in that third period. Um, and then yesterday, uh, you know, it was tied going in the third period. And, you know, we're going to be get, we're going down the stretch here you know, if we're playing well, there's going to be a lot of tight games. And you're either going to be up by a goal, down by a goal, or tied going in that third period. And, you know, good teams find a way to win those third periods. So that was that was a big plus coming out of the weekend uh, for the guys. And, you know, uh, Nick Ellis playing a game also on Sunday, that helps a lot too. You know, we continue to build our depth there. All right, now this weekend it's the Mayor's Cup, and it's a very exciting game for this for the city of Providence. This year it's a series and not just one game. Uh, how do you go about telling the younger guys what the Mayor's Cup means to your team, and how do you get the team prepared for another game with a trophy in sight? Well, I think, uh, you know, we're going to start talking about that tomorrow. We, we typically do uh, start talking about our opponents on Wednesday. Um, and, you know, we're going to kind of give them the definition of rival. We're going to give them the, you know, the history of the series because there's, I think there's only two games that separates the series, you know. And these games mean a lot to a lot of our alumni that, that uh, had played Brown and even played in Brown's rink one year. Um, so, uh, you know, we know they're going to be heated games. I think the added game will make it uh, a little bit more of a rivalry, you know, that it's a two-game series and not a one-game series. I think there'll be some uh, animosity. Uh, built up over the two games and you know it's gonna be good hockey but overall I mean how do we prepare the biggest thing is right now is is we'll play the way we practice last week we did not have a good practice week and we were sloppy defensively I thought we were great offensively but we were sloppy defensively and and this week uh, we want to clean a lot of that up we want to go in the weekend knowing that well we're well prepared because uh, we also have a, a big game against UNH on Tuesday all right coach thank you so much for your time thanks Nick This week in Friars Hockey, we'd like to congratulate John Gillies on being named Goaltender of the Month for the month of December by Hockey East. John had his 13th career shutout in the month of December against Vermont. Congrats, John. We're joined now by junior forward Noel Achari. Noel, thanks so much for joining us on the show today. Thanks for having me. Now, as a leader of this team, is there something you maybe said to the guys in the locker room that has really picked up the pace over this last 10-game stretch? Uh, I mean, we talk all year, Ross and I, but as a team, I think we all bought in and just came together, and I think that's why we're having some success right now, and hopefully it keeps up over the next couple of games. Mm -hmm. This past Saturday's game against Colorado College, a little bit of a wild one there, a lot of lead changes, that tie, the game uh, tying up at different times. You tied the game up twice there in the third period. What did that game say about your team's ability to come back and your resiliency in that game? I think it showed that our team had a lot of character to come from behind multiple times in that game and uh, just to stick with our process and come out with the win over time. Now, you're from Johnston, as some of our viewers may know. You played a few seasons at Bishop Hendrickson. You're a Rhode Islander through and through, like me. Uh, what does the Mayor's Cup for, mean for someone like you playing here at Providence College? Uh, I, I mean, I think it's very important. Uh, it would be fun to play in front of, I mean, inner city, just battling out. And uh, we'll have Rhode Island just showing up, hopefully, and just been a bunch of people that have seen me play. But, I mean, just another game. You've got to focus for it like any other way. And... It's going to be a good one. Yeah, and certainly some of the fans are very excited about. Now, you're known in some circles as one of the hardest hitters in the league. Uh, off the top of your head, what do you think is your favorite or hardest hit you may have had in your career so far here at Providence? It may have been the one against Northeastern, most recent one I can think of uh, yeah. when he's coming up the boards. But, I mean, that's just, I guess, my game and try to get the guys going with the hit here and there. And, some may be bigger than others. Yeah, well, the fans certainly <laughs> love it. Noel, thanks so much for coming on the show today. Thanks for having me. Good luck this weekend. Noel Achari, everybody. Thanks. The 29th Annual Mayor's Cup begins on Friday at 7 p.m. when these two teams square off against each other for the 94th and 95th time in history. This season, the Mayor's Cup is a two-game series. If you win, you get two points. A tie gets you one point. 
If each team has the same number of points at the end of the weekend, the team with the greater goal differential will take home the cup. The Friars won last year's matchup 3-2 at Schneider Arena. And that'll wrap up today's episode of This Week in Friars Hockey. As always, a big thank you to my guests, head coach Nate Lehman, and to Nola Chari for joining me on the show today. The Mayor's Cup is a pair of games that are split between the two colleges. Friday's game is over at Brown University at Meehan Auditorium, while Saturday's game is right here in Schneider Arena. Both games are set to have the puck drop at 7 p.m. Be sure to follow the team on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and at Friars.com for posts, updates, and pictures all season long. From Shine Arena in Providence, Rhode Island, I'm Nick Rojas, Friars.com.